Also, they lowered Blake Martinez for me. Oh, Devin Funches, what a play. Thanks, Ted's human, for the link. Did they get back to me about the kick meter? I never, like, DM'd him about it. I just was, in general, complaining about it. <laughs> I just had it, like, big tweet about it. Yeah, luck is a uh, luck is a punter. I didn't change his stats, so if you want to put him if you want to unretire him, you can. I just made him a punter. Martinez is still too high. Yeah, I, I don't disagree. I mean, I have him as a 65. Oh, God. see again. We got a good. We got a good game here. Oh, that was almost another pick. Jabal Sheer, good coverage. No, I've, I've been using Martinez as a third linebacker in my, my own offline Packers rebuild, and he's perfectly reasonable in that role. Like He's still decent tackler, good awareness. Oh, Hopkins dropped it. Let's go. But he's just useless in coverage, just like real life. And his sideline to sideline ability leaves a lot to be desired. I do not know when Luck will be out of Madden. All I know is he's out on my roster, and that's all I care about. Oh no, J.J. Watt gets me before I could get out of the pocket. What a just star play by him. Oh, we should have just ran the ball. They still need a touchdown. Oh my God, Darius Leonard. Ooh. <laughs> His rookie season not a fluke in this rebuild. Yeah, Shazir should not be in Madden anymore. Like, I'm sorry. The, the fact that they not only just have him in there, but, like, he's still just a god. Like, he's probably, if you just turn injuries off, he's probably a top five most valuable player in this game. Which is crazy. Like, I hope he comes back. But when you see a guy come out to announce the draft pick for his team and this is going to sound bad but it takes him 15 seconds to walk 10 feet to get to the podium like I don't think you can give the guy 90 speed as a linebacker Funch is making some plays today You got it. You got it. Uh -huh. 
I think it'd be a mistake for Shazier to play football again. Like, what if he goes through all of that rehab to be able to walk again? Like, if I'm Shazier, if I go through all that rehab, yeah, I think they have him with, like, 87 or 88 speed, which is, like, one of the best linebackers in the game. Um, if I'm Shazier and I go through all that rehab, and you know you're not everything you used to be, you haven't played professional football in four years, why would you put yourself in the risk of re-aggravating it and never being able to walk again or having to go through all that again. Like, it's just not worth it. Another big W. That was a close game. This team continues to play well. We haven't done a whole lot, to be honest. The team's just good enough to win without the help of a star quarterback, I guess. The defense has really stepped up the last few weeks against some good offenses. So, Jacoby, good game. Did throw a pick, but that's fine. We threw that pick. There definitely seems to be something fixed about the simulation engine with the interceptions after I brought brought that. I don't know if they were listening to me or if that was something they already were going to fix, but... Jeez, Nick Perry is playing well for the Texans. So, Hooker and Leonard couple of picks <laughs> you're not you're not wrong romantics all right so you're Franklin I'm gonna go coverage again all these linebackers that we want to improve the coverage um, Darren back in our Ooh, a speed boost? All right. Back in our Bengals rebuild, um, we did the same thing where we just did play the moments throughout the year, but Tua was throwing like three or four picks like every week. We threw like 40 picks with Tua, and only five or six of them were me. And it was just like, like I, I keep saying how much I enjoy just doing play the moments like this because it keeps the games close. There's a good flow to it and all that. But when your quarterback's throwing 40 picks, picks because the simulation engine was so bad, it was it's just kind of a buzzkill. And it's actually a game changer that that was addressed because I really think this is like, don't tell anyone else, like this will be our little secret, but I really think this is the stream rebuild go to. And maybe you guys disagree, but I think it's just kind of perfect. So week eight, are we thinking about any trades? You know who would look really good in this scheme is Josh Norman. But we already gave up our second round pick for Melvin Gordon. I don't think we need to make any trades. Let's see if there's any really crappy teams that might, might move a player. Packers, Steelers, and Jets. trade for Aaron Rodgers I I can't think of anyone the Jags wouldn't trade anyone in her division the Giants don't have anyone I don't think we really need AJ Green what about like I uh, I wouldn't give up the what we would need to to get Geno Adkins. I think we're going to have to stay put. Get Peterman? I'd like to. 
My hope is that he gets hits the free agent market and we can sign him. What's happening in Green Bay? Should we check it out? They are a train wreck. Let's look at our own stats, too. Jacoby, that's a year. We don't need a quarterback. He's going to be winning some awards, I think. Gosh, Gordon is going to have a 1,000 and a 1,000, I think. The pass rush has been quiet, but Darius Leonard, four picks. Let's see, uh, let's see what Green Bay's situation is. They usually play pretty poor. I mean, Rodgers hasn't been the issue. I saw that they updated that quarterbacks actually run now in simulation. That's awesome. That's big time. I, I will admit there, there's a lot of bugs that still need to be figured out. Equinemia St. Brown's playing well. There's a lot of bugs that need to be figured out, but they have addressed a lot of stuff in franchise mode that I can respect. Yeah, I don't know. It's the Green Bay doesn't seem to be playing particularly bad, but just can't can't win anything. All right, so our last game of the night. Against the Broncos. Yeah, I know, Darren. It's nice. You'll never see Aaron Rodgers with 24 carries in the past. I wonder what Lamar Jackson has. Trade for Blake Cashman. That's a good idea. I don't think that's very realistic, though, for the Jets to give up uh, a rookie like that that they like. Do we know, is Cashman for sure starting with Williamson out? Oh, it's actually maybe for the best that he missed that. No, not Zion Williamson. He'd be a, he'd be a fun linebacker. Let's actually run this away from, ah, they flipped it. Oh well, at least we're away from Vaughn. <laughs> True that, Nick. Yeah, Cashman's my dude. Gosh, Melvin Gordon is just this team's offense. I love it. Oh no. That is a Devin Funches route right there. That was sloppy. Timing was just off. Good play, boys. Oh, Marlon Mack in the game. That's a first. Yeah, the, the Jets had a pretty up-and-down draft, really. The Trayvon Wesco pick did not make any sense to me. I like Wesco, but his ceiling is very low. Gee, Zebron, okay. 
Damn. This feels like we should hand this one off. Another touchdown for the MVP. Jamal Willis, the second? You mean um, the Akron guy? It's not Willis, it's uh, what's his name? Flag. Jamal Davis, yeah. Yeah, that was my boy. I didn't realize he was available in TFGO. Damn, I would have loved to sign him. Ugh. Why did the Texans let him go? It's just annoying. As if the Packers needed any more edge players. I see why you traded uh, Kyler Fackrell then. I wonder if J J Jamal Davis, J J J Jamal. I wonder if Jamal Davis is gonna make the uh, Texans IRL. Come on, Jacoby. Gosh, this Colts defense is coming alive. We're shutting out the Broncos. 20 to nothing. See, I'm not even playing all that well. Oh, they're coming back now. We need an opportunity. Jeez, where's our play the moments? <laughs> Come on, EA. We need to help our team. Oh, come on, guys. Four sacks for Von Miller. God. We got to start helping out. Nice throw, Jacoby. Well, I mean, he had Bradley Chubb in coverage on him. Perfect protection. We double teamed Vaughn and Melvin Gordon picked up the blitzer. That's that's what's up. Great job, guys. Jeez. Broncos are coming alive. God, look at Quentin Nelson. He is so good. The blocks he's making out here. Unbelievable. He came off that double team and then drove the other guy. Oh, that's so nice. That's just like a highlight for Quentin Nelson right there. Yeah, Brian Burns will be an interesting watch this year. Melvin Gordon out here to just put this game away. Just follow Quentin Nelson. This old line is so good. Did I just pull a Le'Veon Bell stopping behind the line of scrimmage? I guess I kind of did. Goes to show you what you can do when you have a line like this. Face mask. Would I rather have Burns or Josh Allen? Uh, probably Josh Allen. Oh God, what a hit. I don't know. Burns has a slightly higher ceiling, but... Burns is the kind of guy that's going to just demolish dudes in the preseason. Like, I'm not going to freak out too much about that. 
Oh my god, another one for Vaughn. Five sacks. There is literally no reason to give these guys superstar X Factor. Like, the superstar pass rushers are plenty good without the X Factor. sit here and wait on this clock to come down. Need a good comment to keep us busy while we sit here and wait. Alright, just got to finish this up on the defensive side of the ball. Maybe walk away with a Malik Hooker interception. Perhaps? Best name in the NFL? I mean, you still can't really beat Ha Ha Clinton Dix. the end of the game. All right. Well, that was a that was an awesome stream, guys. Glad I could come back with some more Colts action. If you missed any of this, they'll be chopped up. We got plenty of episodes here to cut up on YouTube. We'll be back. I probably will not be streaming until I get back from Chicago, so it's going to be about a week, unless I have time on, like, Tuesday night before I go. Um, if I do stream, that'll be tweeted out at TFG Plays. Uh, also, follow my Instagram, Whitman underscore Marcus. I believe is the Instagram. I think that's it. Uh, because I'll be doing a, like a little vlog action for the Packers-Bears game. That's going to be fun. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. That was fun. Enjoy the rest of your Friday night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Football's back. I could not be any more happy about it. So peace out, everyone. We'll see you for the next one.